Kya hal chal hai dosto? So, I got the results back. The doctor just called me. I just want to show you this view as well. Look how beautiful this place is. So the doctor just called me. He's like, your results are negative. I'm like, yeah, no sh man. And he's like, can you come back to the hospital? I'm like, no, I don't want to come back to the hospital. Why would I want to go back to that hospital after what happened? So anyway, going back to the hospital now, we're going to pick up my medical certificate. Then I'm going to go and get permission to get my butt back to Delhi. And you know, what they did was wrong. As a tourist or as a migrant, you only have to be tested by a thermometer before you can go back. You can travel back to your state. So why did they need to test me like that, you know? It, it's just wrong. And the test took three days. I got the results back in three days, which is pretty damn fast. And that's probably because there's only about 58 cases here in Uttarakhand. And uh, most of them have, they've come better, they've healed. So, cello. Let's go back to the hospital, which I don't want to go back to ever again, and uh, get my medical report. I'll show you what a COVID-19 medical report or medical test looks like, eh? Let's have a look, see if they give me the actual report from the labs. I'm back at the House of Horrors and you would have seen on my drive here there was a lot of people out on the road so today the, the, the green zones there's been a lot of relaxations here so you can take your car you can go out on the streets and that's exactly what we've seen I got stuck behind a car for most of the ride so cars are back people are back and uh, it might be too soon for this but here in Osirikand maybe it's not too soon well nearly dropped my bike that was bad it might not be too soon here because there's no infections here, like I said, but yeah, it's just weird seeing all these people back out on the streets, right? All right, though, so it's all done inside there. I never have to come back to this hospital again. Let's go find a viewpoint and I'll tell you what happened in there. Everybody here has seen the video that I made here. All right, so this is what a COVID-19 report looks like. Pretty damn basic. It just says SARS-CoVid-2 and then it says negative. That's all it is. They email this to you, or to the hospital. What's wrong with me? Ah. Ab aapko yahan se lenke New Zealand tak koi nahi rokega. Nahi. You are safe up. Ji. Corona ka test ka report aayi, koi nahi rokega. Ji. Dhanyawad ji. Bye. Alvida. I was just chatting with that guy, really sweet guy. So yeah, how's this for a view guys? People are living all across these incredible mountains in the Himalayas here. Oh, the Himalayas are clouded over again today, so I can't take you and show you, but they're, they're literally just there. You can see them on a really clear day, but there's a lot of cloud in the sky today. Pachalo, let's sit down. What happened in the hospital? Everybody in the hospital has seen the video. I don't want to fall off here. Wow. What will happen if I do? Anyway. So, um, they've seen the video and I went in to get my medical certificate. So tomorrow I can go see the SDM and get my permission. He won't see me today. So tomorrow I'll get my permission to go to Delhi. And uh, so the doctor, he apologized. He didn't need to though. He explained why he asked what he did, why they did what they did, but he didn't need to. I already knew why they did what they did and everything. And he wasn't the one who needed to apologize because this was the second doctor, the guy who came along and handled the situation after the first doctor went crazy and made a thousand phone calls to everybody to the point where it was too late to 
to stop this, you know? So he didn't need to apologize. And the thing with me is like, in life, you have to forgive and forget, and you've got to do it quickly. You can't hold on to grudges. You can't hold on to these negative feelings. You just got to forgive and forget. And my memory is so bad that after a month, I won't even remember that this happened. You'll have to remind me what happened. I'll forget. So don't stop forgive and forget quickly, okay? That's a really important thing to live a happy life, I think. So that's what I told him. I told him, you don't need to, bro. It's, it's all fine. I forgive and forget. And everything's fine. I'm okay. It was a bad experience. The video is online, so, <laughs> you know, people can see how this stuff shouldn't be done, right? So that's a good thing. And as you saw, a lot of these places are opening up in, in Uttarakhand because there's a lot of green zones here. It's like maybe the lockdown was just to allow the hospital's time to ramp up and to get ready. Because can you really control a pandemic here in India with such a big population? The longer the lockdown goes on for, the more people get hungry, the less money the migrants and the, and the poorer people have, the more difficult it becomes for the poorer people, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, just a, it's, it's such a hard situation here. If you continue the lockdown, there's tons of negatives. If you open the lockdown, there's tons of negatives as well. It's such a hard balancing act, but I think that the purpose of the lockdown has been to slow down the transmission and to help hospitals and to let everybody in India get ready because what I think, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything, but what I think is we're going to have to get used to living with Corona, everybody around the world. Some countries have been able to stamp it out like New Zealand and Australia, but they're small countries where people, you know, uh, how can I put this, where it's easier to control people. In a big country like India, where it's harder to control everybody, and you've got over a billion people, it's just so hard. So I think maybe here in India, we're just going to have to get used to living with Corona after lockdown ends. The numbers are still going up now. Nah? We still haven't reached the peak, yet places are starting to open up. So, yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now. That could change. So, yeah, anyway, I'm happy. I'm going home to my wife finally. I had come here, as you guys know, to study Hindi, and I achieved that. I studied Hindi for like a good two and a half months. I was going to be here till June. What I didn't get to do was go out and explore these hills for you guys. I wanted to take you out there. I wanted to drive all the way out there, but I couldn't. Couldn't do it. Because as soon as I got here, lockdown started. I wanted to try the Uttarakantali. All these sorts of things I wanted to do here. So I'm going to have to come back. And I love Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is like New Zealand. It is, you can see now, it's just green, lush and clean. And the people are very sweet, very good hearted people. I was just chatting with this guy before you saw it at the beginning. Very, very sweet guy. <sighs> really does remind me of New Zealand. The New Zealand of India. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna take you on the trip back to Delhi. It's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so hard. You know why? Down in the plains, it's getting up to 40 degrees in Delhi. So I'm gonna have to ride in over 30 degree temperatures, probably 35 to 40 degrees to get back to Delhi. And for seven or eight hours, I'm gonna have to ride in that. Here it's 20 degrees. I don't know how it can be so freaking cold. Just a few, like just 45 minutes from where it is, you know, over 30 degrees, crazy. Yeah, that's gonna be damn hard. I'll vlog that entire ride, guys. It's going to be quite an experience traveling. Let's get back to Delhi. Namaste and Jai Hind.